Hello, my name is Christine. I'm with the BC Libraries Cooperative. This short video has been created to demonstrate how to modify report templates. The Sitka support team has created generic templates for commonly requested reports and shared them under the Sitka Templates folder. This video describes how to make local copies of these templates to use as a starting point for customization. Before creating a new template, it is a good idea to review the shared templates first. Even if the exact template you need does not exist, it is often faster to modify an existing template than it is to build a brand new one. Sitka templates are created based on the idea that most libraries will need such reports. The support team tends to make these templates generic so that more libraries can use them. Individual libraries may have slightly different reporting requirements, so template, template modification may be required to make the report meet your needs. Once saved, it is not possible to edit a template. So to make changes, you will need to clone the template and make the changes to the clone. So the first thing that you'll need to do is select the template that you want to use. I'm going to go into Holdings and select New Item Count by Circ Modifier. I'm going to select the report, and in the drop-down menu, I'm going to select Clone Selected Template and hit Submit. I need to select a folder to store my template. I will choose my Templates folder and click Select Folder. Here we can make the required changes to the template. Um, at the bottom you'll see that there's two tabs, Displayed Fields and Base Filters. Clicking on the Displayed Fields tab will show you all of the displayed fields. You can remove a displayed field by highlighting it and clicking Remove Selected Field. We're going to remove the Owning Library column. And click on Owning Library and select Remove Selected Field. Removing displayed fields usually does not affect the result set, but some fields may contain important information and removing them may confuse the results. Usually such fields are explained in the template description. Be cautious when you delete such fields. You may move a field up or down on the list, which will change the order of the displayed columns. We will move circ modifier to the top of the list. This is going to make it the first column on the displayed report. We're just going to click on circ modifier and click move up. It'll be the, the first column now. You may also change the column label or the transform of the field. Um, if you click on item active date and then select alter display header, you can change the name. We're going to change this to active date and click on OK. If you're not clear where displayed field is from, you may use the source browser to the right to the display the fields from the selected table only. Clicking on item call number will display any of the display fields from this source specifier. As you can see, we don't have any. Circulation modifier will show you the circ modifier. To add a displayed field, open the source table to find the field you want to display. We're going to click on the arrow beside item and scroll down to shelving location. And then we're going to click in the field name pane to select name, the text ID. And then we're going to select add selected fields. Again, we can change the name down here. Just click on name and alter display header. We can change this to shelving location. And then just click on OK. You cannot change the starting source table. Changing the starting table will remove all existing fields, which means building a new template from scratch. Select base filters or aggregate filters to add or remove filters. The steps are the same as adding or removing displayed fields, but be careful with filters as usually changing these will make a difference in the result set. I'm going to set a value for the organizational unit ID so that it defaults to my library and that I don't have to select my library from a list. We're going to click on Organizational Unit ID and then click on Change Operator and select Equals. And then check, click on Change Value and enter the library shortcode. I'm going to use ZSP-B and then click on OK. Once you've made all the desired changes to your template, you can click on Save. I'm just going to remove Clone from the name, verify that the description is correct, I'm going to remove this choose one or more owning libraries because we've set it so that it only it only reports on my library and then just click on save. Confirmation box will open, click on OK and then click on OK again. 
You can now generate a report from the modified template. The next video will cover how to create a new report template from scratch. Thank you for watching. For more information, please see the reports chapter in the Sitka Evergreen Training Manual.